one consequence of being ordained close to Christmas is that the daily readings are fixed. Right? So I get to hear every year the Magnificat of our Blessed Mother, except it falls on the fourth Sunday. But other than that, it's the Magnificat. And it's beautiful, right? Because obviously it was just an attitude that you would expect or want to encourage on your anniversary. It's the gratitude. I have to be able to sing like Mary, a Magnificat. And when we look at Mary, our Blessed Mother, we can only imagine that was the greatest hymn of praise, right? A heart that's so pure, uh, sinless, singing to God. You know, what a great thing to imitate. But today, as I was meditating on, on this Magnificat, it struck me that not only right, is this spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving and praise something proper when we're celebrating an anniversary, but it's also it kind of touches at the essence of what it means to be a priest. And a priest can be defined as someone who leads God's people in praise, in right praise. Those who did the course of Bishop Barron right, on the priesthood uh, uses this image from Genesis, even the creation of Adam, seeing Adam almost as the first priest. And in the creation account, right, God creates right, this whole like procession. First it's the cosmos, Right? Then it's the land, and the trees and things, and then you have the creepy crawly things, and you have the animals, you have the birds, the fish. They're all coming you know, little by little before the final person, Adam, the priest, like entering the sanctuary. So you have the acolytes coming first, and then you know, everything else. And finally, the priest comes in. And the role of Adam, the role of the priest, right, is to direct all the creation to God in a great hymn of praise. A couple days ago, I was here. I don't remember if it was uh, exposition or benediction, but I was kneeling down before uh, Christ in the Blessed Sacrament on the altar there with the incense and seeing Mary and Joseph there in the crib, empty, but Christ right above. Kind of brought me back to, or I don't know, it was one of those like, you know, mystical feeling things, like something special here. <laughs> find it hard to unpack because I don't know exactly all that was happening, but it was kind of the sense of how proper and fitting, right? The very act of adoration that we contemplate in Mary and Joseph, even though baby Jesus is in there. Right? I'm, I'm reliving right, right now before Christ with all of the community behind me, adoring Christ there on the altar. It's beautiful. And that adoration, right? That's our hymn of praise and thanksgiving to God. We recognize him for who he is the one who made us, made everything, who loved us and redeemed us, sacrificed himself on the cross and then stays with us. And just to be there, kind of like out in front, uh, right before him, thinking, you know, essential to my priesthood is this communion with you, Lord Jesus. And the degree into which I, can, I adore and praise and thank and worship so much more, right? God is going to work in the souls and lives of those entrusted to me. Because that's my role as a priest. To lead God's people in the worship and praise of his name. So I just invite all of you preparing for the priesthood and us priests to continue to delve into that meaning of our priesthood. To give God that praise and lead his people. And of course today to have that just great spirit of joy and thanksgiving for such a great gift of the priesthood.